you've fallen back into the same old patterns, the same old frequency, all that work that you were doing, elevating, is gone. You're probably feeling guilty, disappointed, frustrated, and ashamed. But it's okay, because there is good and bad news. Now, the bad news is, if you don't get out the momentum that you're energetically building at this moment in time vibrationally, you're going to end up solidifying the old frequency and materializing the very world that you're trying to escape from. However, the good news is, I'm gonna show you how to break out. Now, one girl commented to put on a shirt because she likes men too much. Now, you need to stay focused. We're doing real things here. You can't be, you, you can't be, just stay focused, man. You're gonna get some. And also for everybody that's telling me to stop saying nigga, no nah, nigga, I'm not gonna stop. If that's an issue for you, then just leave, innit? You know, if you're going to let someone's use of particular vocabulary hinder your ability to extract the wisdom regardless, or if that in of itself paints an entire brush over me, then you don't have the capability to even understand what I'm saying. So yeah, sorry. Now, it's very important for you to understand this. This is the first thing, because we're gonna get you out of this. Right now you've fallen into a rut, you've fallen into your old patterns, you've slipped up, you're beating yourself up, and you are going to find out how to break out and solidify your new frequency to build your new reality. That's the purpose of what we do here. I always say spirituality without the ability to control your reality is vanity. As you can see, I ain't wearing no vegan sandals. I'm not wearing no crystals. I'm not doing none of that. I'm just a regular nigga in a do-rag and a wife beat about to drop some game. So drop those notes in the comments. If you're new here, then we have a thing where everybody takes our notes from the video because I don't want you watching me for the sake of passing time because that's a waste of fucking time. It's a waste of both of our time. I want you to actually internalize this information so it marinates in your mind and builds you on the new path of the frequency that you're heading into. Now, with that being said, this is the first thing that you have to understand when you've fallen back into your old cycle and you've slipped up. This is the first thing you have to understand. We'll use blue. Left pocket full of pink fillies, right pocket got blues in it. The first thing you have to understand if we're gonna get you back on the right path is this. You have been asleep longer than you have been awake. Now, what you have to understand is when you incarnate down onto this third dimensional realm, unless you're lucky to be born into a family that studies the type of things we're talking about here, for context, you're asleep until you come across this knowledge, until one day you picked up that book or you saw that video, you saw it to that person and that light bulb switch lit in your head. Now, understanding that you spent more time asleep than you have been awake, which is something that is very real because what you have to understand is the time, and I'll use myself in it as an example. I got into these concepts when I was 15, right? So that means for 15 years of my life, I was accustomed to living reality in a particular way, navigating this third dimensional realm from the perception of, you know, it is God that decides the fate of the people. Everything is predestined. You know, I, I have no control. I'm just a young black guy and so on and so forth. Now, having understood everything that I've been talking about right here and everything that I've studied through the nearly 400 books in the eight years that I've spent trial and error understanding this information. The one thing that I can tell you is that the worst thing that you can do is to neglect the fact that you've actually been asleep longer than you've been awake. Because the one thing that you need to give yourself is this. You need to give yourself grace. It's very important that you do that because what often happens is that you come with this almost expectation of yourself that now because you've read a book or you've watched a video that now you're just supposed to be perfect and you're supposed to be completely transformed without negating the fact that you spent however many years of your life 
solidifying the frequency of being asleep, being accustomed to seeing the world in a particular way for multiple years, that frequency solidifying has built you to where you are now. Now, when you're moving on a path where you're transmuting reality or you're stepping into your desired reality, what you're battling for most of us is decades of the old frequency. So when you slip up, it's like, would you be mad if you got beat up by Mike Tyson? No. If you got beat up by Goku, would you be mad? I highly doubt it, right? And the reason for that is because you're battling an opponent that has been in the game longer than you. And I say an opponent, but I'm really just talking about the duality between the old frequency and the new frequency that you're trying to get into and the old one that you're trying to get away from. So having understood that, the reason why you need to give yourself grace is because you just got here. <laughs> like, you just got here. So if you slip back into the old frequency that you're trying to get away from, it's okay. Because the worst thing that you can do upon falling back into your old ways is what you've been doing, which I'm going to break down why that's even binding you even more. Somebody said that, you know, when I clean the board, it's a bit therapeutic, like ASMR or something like that. I'm just a clean freak, man. Now, you slipped up and fell back into your old frequency. You fell back into the old pattern. You might have fallen back into that scarcity mindset. You might have slipped back into a vice. You might have expressed something, a particular side of you that you're trying to get away from. And that's okay, because the worst thing that you can do is this. The reason why I said you need to give yourself grace is because if you're not giving yourself grace and that higher level understanding that you're fighting an opponent that has been solidified over decades, because frequency is energetically stacked. They energetically stack, and just like compound interest, they compound. Frequencies compound. And when you've been in a particular frequency, let's say the old frequency, for decades, that frequency doesn't just disappear. It, it doesn't just disappear. It lays within you. Now, you're trying to move somewhere else, but it still exists. And frequencies are addictive, more addictive than any drug that you can think of, which is why some people you try to put them on game, but regardless, it's like their mind can't hear it. And it's not that they're choosing to be ignorant, it's that they can't perceive it because they're addicted to their old frequency. Now, the thing that I said you need to give yourself is grace and the understanding of what I just said, because if you don't, this is what you're going to do. And I can guarantee if you slip back into your old patterns, you're doing this and it is destroying you. What you've done is fallen into guilt. You've fallen into disappointment. And I can guarantee you're frustrated. And it's okay. I'm telling you, it's okay. Relax on yourself, right? Because here's the thing. Guilt, disappointment, and frustration are extremely dangerous. The reason why I say they're extremely dangerous is for the fact that these emotions are glue. And you feel these emotions anytime that you let yourself down or anytime that you slip up, not understanding that anytime that you feel disappointed you're like man i shouldn't have done that or i can't believe i've done that or i was doing so well and then i fell off or i fell in out my routine and you start to feel guilty disappointed and frustrated these emotions are glue and what they stick you to is your old frequency and here's the trick that the ego plays on you here's the trick that the ego plays on you and i see all the time with these spiritual niggas is this you come with this well, you enter this knowledge and you're like, wow, this is amazing. I'm studying all this stuff about my higher self and, you know, frequencies and vibrations and controlling reality and whatever, whatever, and grand rising this and grand rising that. Without understanding that you then, because of how profound this information is to you, you expect yourself to instantly transform. And this instant transformation is a trick that the ego plays you into thinking that you have to do because it knows that when you don't you're going to be guilty disappointed and frustrated and why because it knows that those emotions are glued to your old frequency it sets you up to fail 
so that when you do fail, you feel negative. And then once you feel negative, it sticks you to your old frequency. Because what you have to understand is this. Emotions is energy emotion. Now, what does that mean? Energy emotion is energetic. Well, it emits an energetic signature. Now, that signature is what we interpret as a frequency when it's been multiplied and compounded. And through these negative emotions, the guilt, the frustration, the disappointment, you're like, damn, that actually sinks you deeper into your old world, which is exactly why I'm saying you need to give yourself grace because the more you feel bad about slipping up, the more you're going to slip up. Definitely. And I can guarantee that. Now, here's the other thing that you need to know. Make sure you're taking them notes and you need to prove that you're taking notes by dropping your notes in the comments. I want to see them straight in the comments because you lot know I reply to every single comment. And some of you lot are crazy. Some guy was like, yo, this is a hard video. And I was like, bro, no diddy, no pause, no nothing. You're just going in there raw, pause. Now, Here's another thing that the quote unquote spiritual people that give you this information that makes you feel like you need to instantly change, forget to tell you, which is this. Frequencies. And I'm not sure if I'm going to spell this right. However, Looks pretty right. Frequencies oscillate. And what I mean by that is they go up and they go down. The idea that once you enter this knowledge, you're supposed to be high vibrational, higher frequency all the time is absolute nonsense because that's just not how it works. Frequencies oscillate up and down consistently. You're never going to be fixated at one point. Yes, you can spend one time in a particular region more than another, but you're never going to be fixated. And once you understand that frequencies oscillate, then it makes sense that you slip back into your old ways. Because here's the thing, and make sure, you make sure. in fact, I'm gonna write this down. Because when I, when I thought, when this thought came to my head, I was like, yeah, I'm cooking. You have only fallen because you've risen. I'm gonna let that one marinate. I'm gonna just stare into the camera for a bit. <laughs> I couldn't take myself serious. But real talk, no jokes now. Be serious. You have only fallen because you've risen. And that's something that you have to understand. Because once again, the emotions that I told you that you're experiencing prior to this writing that I put up there is guilt, frustration, disappointment. Those emotions can cloud your judgment and cloud your vision because you don't see reality through your eyes. Your eyes mainly take electrical signals, send them up to the brain. The brain processes an image based upon what it thinks it's seeing. And that's on a completely physical, scientific level. On a metaphysical level, you don't see with your eyes, you see with your mind. And when your mind is clouded by the emotions of frustration, disappointment, guilt, that frequency alters the frequency that your mind is producing, which then alters what your mind is seeing and then ends up making you forget this, which is you have fallen. The only reason you've fallen is because you've risen. That is it. That's it. It's normal. It's good. However, the only issue now is how much time you spend wallowing in the guilt, frustration, disappointment that you slipped up. Because here's the thing frequencies stack energetically and multiply the more time that you spend thinking damn i can't believe i've done that i was doing so well i was just in the routine and then i just fell off the more time you spend there the more time that energetic momentum stacks up that vibration becomes a frequency that frequency becomes a reality and when it's a reality it's a bit difficult for you to navigate out of that situation but hey 
that's what I'm here for. So understanding that frequencies are forever oscillating, then we need to actually take it back to some text which is thousands of years thousands of years old, which is the Hermetica or the Kabbalion. If you haven't got that book, then get it. And by the way, for everybody that's asked me, please do a book video. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start dropping books randomly in the video. So if you leave this video right now, nigga, then you're not gonna get the book in it. So now with that being said, once again, I'm repeating this so it hits your head. You have only fallen because you have risen. Now, in the Kabbalion, or the Hermetic tradition, there is a law known as the law of rhythm. And one mention in the law of rhythm, now of course I can't remember the axiom, but I'll get AJ to put it up. One thing that it says in particular is the pendulum swings. The pendulum swings. The measure of the swing to the left will be equal to the swing to the right. They are highs and lows. This is a natural part of the universe. Our experience of highs and lows is normal. And I want to break this into your head because you're moving by standards set by people that don't even know what the hell they're talking about. Now, it's normal that you rise. It's normal that you fall off. You will rise again. It is normal. You shouldn't beat yourself up because what you have to understand is, like I said, highs and lows. You can never escape those highs and lows. Now, what a lot of spiritual people in the industry would do will make you think that when you get this information, your life will be perfect. No, there's forever going to be highs and lows because this is hermetic principle stated. And it is always going to be a natural course of the universe that your life is going to have highs and lows. However, the way that you navigate yourself in those particular highs and lows on a point of vibration makes the entire difference to it. Now, you're in a low right now, or you might be slipping into a low, or you might have slipped into a low before and you're getting out now. Now, I'm giving you the tools necessary to navigate out that situation so you don't spend much more time there, so you don't stack that energetic momentum to take you back into the old frequency, coupled with the frustration, guilt, disappointment, and sadness. Now, having understood what I just said, highs and lows are normal. Don't think that just because you studied some books, nigga, and you watched a couple YouTube videos, you're just a genie now. You're just a wizard now. Like, it doesn't work like that. And that's okay. In fact, it's more than okay. It's great. Because this is the natural course of the universe. And understanding that you are a microcosm of the universe, if the universe is accompanied with highs and lows, then you can expect yourself to also come with highs and lows. There are seasons. There's summer. There's winter. There's fall. There's highs and lows in life. Waves go in and out. It doesn't matter. It's all about you understanding how to navigate the idea that frequencies oscillate so that when your frequency does drop temporarily, you're not sticking yourself there through this guilt complex and beating yourself up. That is the worst thing you can do. And if you don't know how to not to do that, you will build that old reality. And you know, there was this ancient metaphysician and he said something, I was listening to his song earlier and he said, well, the only part that matters of what he said is, if you want to be a boss, you got to pay the price. Left wrist on froze, look like a bag of ice. Now, frequencies oscillate, yes. Up and down, it's completely normal. The emotion that I described earlier is exactly what puts you back into where you were. When you consistently feel those emotions, you trick yourself. And just to touch more on that point, you know, in case you missed it, because it's important that you understand what I'm saying. Frequencies are sneaky. What the old frequency will do is set you up. with an unrealistic expectation. And when I say unrealistic, bear in mind, you should never use the word realistic. But for the context of what I'm trying to explain, in fact, it is unrealistic for you to be at highs all the time because that's not the nature of how the universe works. But anyways, 
the old frequency will set you up with an unrealistic self-perception on who you are now just because you read a couple books nigga. literally it will set up an unrealistic expectation of who you are now based upon the information that you've taken in making you think that you instantly need to be able to just magically transform yourself now the reason it sets you up is because it knows that the natural course of the universe is comprised with what we just spoke about then which is highs and lows and it knows that when you're high and things are going good and you're doing your routine and you're getting that money in and you're doing this everything's great but it also knows that when them lows come, you are going to fall completely off. Why? Because here's the one thing that reality and your frequency, your old frequency will attempt to extract out of you to stick you to a particular situation. And that is emotional energy. It wants you to be guilty. It wants you to feel like you've just, you've just, everything's just done now. Like you've just ruined it all. All, it, all of it was for nothing. It wants you to feel frustrated. It wants you to feel disappointed in yourself. It wants you to feel like you're a loser. Why? Because it understands that due to the emotional energy, even though this is a natural course of reality, by the way, which I want to keep magnifying, because I don't want you to be beating yourself up after this video. I want you to leave a comment and be like, hey, Nero, you know, that really, really helped because, man, I was, I was beating myself up real bad. But anyways, it is glue. And it is glue to wherever it is being directed. And in that instance where you're thinking, I was sure doing good. I was really doing good. And then I just, I just messed it up. That energy is being directed back to that old frequency, which then sticks you to it. And this is how frequencies play with you. They're very, very sneaky. How, how, how sneaky? How sneaky? And it really is. It really, really is. Hey, don't laugh too loud, bro. I'm recording a video here. <laughs> Anyways, jokes aside again, stop laughing. It's very, very sneaky because once again, it sets you up with an unrealistic self-perception on the, who you are or who you should be now because the information that you've learned, not realizing that you were, you spent more time asleep than you are awake, meaning that you're battling a frequency of decades versus the new one that you're stepping into now so that when the natural, when the natural course of the universe takes place and you get hit with them highs and lows, it knows that when you're on them highs, you're gonna be smiling. You're gonna feel like, like you've just done crack. But then when you completely fall off due to the emotional energy of negativity, of the guilt, the frustration, the disappointment, it's gonna stick you back to that frequency. Why? Because it will win the game. And I've just exposed the game to you of how frequencies are sneaky. And don't be mad at this. You made this. You, 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 you are accustomed to this. It needs you. It needs the energy that you give it through your frequency which base of it comes through your emotion i always say your emotion is the largest shareholder of your frequency don't listen to anybody who says it's all about your thoughts it's all about your thoughts i could break down your electromagnetic field and point out to you this but i'll do that on another video but for now what you just have to understand on a simplistic level is that it is your emotional energy which is the largest shareholder of your frequency and it knows that if it can sway your emotion down into a form of negativity with those emotions it will be restored because it doesn't want to die why would it want to die you've been feeding it for decades it's like yo you, you've been feeding me you know you're trying to leave nah so now you're like all right cool Nero. i see the game 4k i understand what it's doing how do i how do i how do i get out of this how how do i make sure that the next time i fall off because you will and there's nothing wrong with that how do I navigate reality to redirect that energy to make sure that I'm only moving in the direction of my desired reality? Which actually brings me to another point that I actually think is very, very important to make. And don't worry, I'll get there. I'll give you the book. I'll give you the information. You're going to get some. Just relax. But there's something else that I think is extremely important.
which is this. From now on, I want you to maintain this belief. I want you to allow this idea to shift from being a belief into something that you know, because once you know something, you're tapping into the you're tapping into the true definition of faith. Faith comes, the word faith comes from this Latin word called fides. Fides was a reference to confidence, more so a state of conviction. So when you see niggas these days that say have faith, have faith, they don't have faith. What they have is trust. And trust has the potentiality for the element of doubt to come in. When I'm talking about faith on an etymological origin point of Latin, I'm talking about conviction. Because when you know something, that's the level of conviction. And I want you to know every single time, no matter where you are, whether a high or a low, you know exactly what I'm about to tell you, which is this. Pocket full of paint fitties, right pocket got blues in it. Cool. The point that I want to make before I tell you how to actually make sure you vibrate and alchemize from being in these lows to getting back onto your frequency and back to where you were is this all paths lead to my desired reality. Now, what often happens in our minds is that we have an idea that if I keep doing this, I'm going to get here. If I don't do this, I'm not going to get here. Understanding that you make the rules of your reality and the truth is that there is no good path or is no bad path. There is no right path. There is no wrong path. If you decide that a path is right, then it will be right simply for the idea that you have decided it's going to be right. And if you decide one is wrong, the moment you step on that path, it's instantly going to be wrong. Not because it's right or it's wrong, simply because of the belief that you make your own laws. You make the laws of your reality without even realizing there is no good, well, there is no right or wrong in the instance that I'm talking about. It's more so wherever you're pouring your emotional conviction into the fact that if I do this, this will work out. You think them techniques that you do only, you think them techniques that you do work because there's somebody sat in the database of the universe saying, I oh, cool, they've done 369 affirmations today, okay. No, it doesn't work like that. It's not about your affirmations, it's not about your visualization or your vision board. Whatever will work is whatever you decide, but more importantly, what you know will work. And it's very important that when you fall off your frequency, you don't think about it like you've fallen off. You can think about it as a natural course of the universe taking place. Because once you start saying, I'm going down the wrong path, you have then created and structured that reality based on the idea that there is a right and the wrong path. Now understanding that it is wrong because you've decided it's wrong. But more importantly, this is the idea you need to accept, which is all paths lead to my desired reality. So even when you fall off, it is still working out in your favor. It is still leading to your desired reality. So that even though these two roles appear to be separate, they lead to one place. And that can only come once you accept this idea that I'm talking about right now which is all paths lead to my desired reality, no matter how reality looks. This is what the Bible talked about when it said to be absent from the body and present with the Lord, to step by eye or to step by mind sight instead of eyesight. Now I'll give you what you've been wanting. Pause. I don't know what some of you want. <sighs> All right, cool. So, how do you vibrate out of this low? How next time when a low comes, you're able to vibrate out of it? This is how, and here's the thing. This is the idea that you need to maintain. Once again, remember the thing that I said earlier, right? 
the only reason you have fallen is because you have risen and that is something that you need to acknowledge and that is something that you need to pay attention to that is something that you need to understand because here's the thing this is how you get back and it's through understanding this I don't know why that A is so far apart from the G, but anyways. You've done it before, so you can do it again. What you have to understand, like I said, is that your old frequency will make you forget about the progress that you've done warping your mind. Because if it can get you to forget about your past wins, your past successes, the fact that you've risen before you fell, you won't have the capability to centralize energy straight back to the frequency of those past wins because here's what you need to understand the fact that you've done it before your your transformation as you've been changing everything that you've done up until this point your wins your successes no matter how big or how small they exist as a frequency and because energy can neither be created nor destroyed that frequency continues to exist it exists And that's what your old frequency doesn't want you to realize. Because if you understood that you had the ability to conceive of the fact that your those wins, that, that, that climb that you did before you fell, that it exists as a frequency, it then would know that because it exists as a frequency, you can tap into it. And that's what it doesn't want you to do. And the reason it doesn't want you to do that is because it wants to continue existing. And you really have to understand that there's a game being played here. There's another scripture in the Bible. It says a man's foes will be those of his own household. The household that it's referring to is the mind. Your mind is your enemy, specifically the two minds that exist. The one that you're trying to escape from and the one that you're trying to create are in direct opposition. This can be seen as the devil and Jesus. Once again, this is why in Revelation 22, 16, Jesus identifies himself as the morning star. Look at the etymological origins of the meaning of Lucifer. It, it is morning star because this is representation of the two dualities that exist within you. And it's the same thing with your old world and your new world. They are polarities, energetic, well, energies that exist within you. Now, when you don't understand that your old frequency, well, your old, well, if you don't understand that those wins that you've had, those successes that you've had exist as a frequency, then you can't tap into them. And if you can't tap into them, you can't centralize that energy because the moment you centralize that energy, what's going to happen? Energetic momentum stacks and then you get back out of this position. And this is the game. So make sure you write down what I'm about to say. Focus on your wins. Before The reason why you're guilty, the reason why you're frustrated, the reason why you're disappointed that you fell off is because you were doing good. I want you to focus on that good because through focusing on the good that you've done prior to things going left, focus is a centralization of energy.
And if you focus on those wins, if you focus on everything that was going well before you kind of fell down into where you are now, what's going to happen is that you're going to send all that energy straight to your wins. And when you send that energy straight to your wins, the next thing that's going to happen is that that energy, that energetic momentum is going to stack. And when it stacks, that is what will pull you out of this low that you're at back up to that high point and this is how you need to navigate things you need to navigate things through understanding that you've been asleep longer than you've been awake and giving yourself grace and not allowing yourself to feel those emotions because those emotions will stick you to that reality then you also need to understand that frequencies oscillate up and down it's completely normal that you know a high can't exist without a low and a low can't exist without a high. You can't clap with one hand. Light can't exist without dark. It is the polarities and it is a natural part of the universe. But then what you also need to understand is that your old frequency will trick you into thinking that you never were doing anything good in the first place. So you don't even have the capability to focus and centralize energy back to those wins because it knows when you do that, that energy is going to stack. And when that momentum stacks, that's how a small wind turns into a tornado. That's how a snowball turns into an avalanche. When that energetic momentum stacks and stacks and stacks, that is what will raise you up out of the frequency that you're currently trapped in. There better be light bulbs going off in your head right now. I want to see them notes. Now, I really want you to understand this and you know this took place because well the concept that I just spoke about it's easy to fall off it really is for anybody it is normal you know one of my clients called Georgie you know he fell off on his trading he was doing like 10 20k a month and he just completely dropped now in the space of two months he was able to hit 50k in a single month after being at 10 and 20 falling back down to like zero and then now hitting 50k per month two months later all for the mere fact that i got him to remember what it was like when things were going good and spend more time within the frequency of things going right because once he'd done that he was able to vibrate out of that low because his old frequency had tricked him into thinking that you're smaller than you are and that's what it does now if that's something that you're interested in and you're stuck at a revenue ceiling and you want to break out in two to five extra revenue in seven weeks link in the description but this example you know when you really think back to any situation through which you kind of dropped and you risen out of it you know what that really is is transmutation and the transmutation can only begin with an alteration of vibration and an alteration of vibration can only begin with the alteration of concentration. And once you alter your concentration, it alters the vibration, which then that vibration stacks into frequency and that frequency becomes a reality. And when that frequency materializes down onto the physical plane, that is how your circumstances change. Damn, what did that kind of rhyme? That was hard, didn't it? No diddy. Now, as promised, I'm going to give you a book. Give me two seconds. Mm. Calm down, you're gonna get some. Just wait right there, man. There's way too many books here. Ah. Yeah, I definitely know you guys don't have this. The Trick to Money is Having Some by Stuart Wilde. The reason why this is an extremely good book to read is because a lot of spiritual people come with the programming that there's something wrong with wanting to make money. And a lot of spiritual people, despite understanding that abundance is their birthright, still treat it like it's a privilege and they struggle to accumulate it. Now, this book really tripled my income in a short amount of time like i've recommended it to didn't i even tell you to read this he posted this book on his ig and didn't give me any credit after i'm pretty sure i gave him my copy i gave it to kai 
So you gave my you gave the book that I gave you to someone else. It was sold out. Now. I had to buy an, I had to buy a new one. But anyways, you, what? You, you didn't give me that. What? You didn't give me that. I gave you this book. I had to buy another one. You gave that to Wally. See, and this is the issue when you give your books to people. Don't give books to people. But anyways, the trick to money is having some. That's a great book to get. And with with that being said, guys, please, please, it's okay. You've fallen because you've risen. Now go rise.